I said I wanted to be more rigorous this time, so that's what I'm going to do. This makes a lot more sense to me. Okay, that has already freed up quite a bit of space. Now I can see them and now I will use them. I have been dreading going through these two boxes. <laughs> So why am I keeping this many? I hate this container. And I know I will use the things I have in here. That means this drawer actually has space now. So I'm gonna be rigorous and I'm going to donate this. Lots more doilies. Oh my goodness. Let's get cracking decluttering summer craft supplies. This time I need to be a lot more rigorous with my decisions. Welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So if you've missed part one, I will link that for you below. This is my scrap box. Here is the logo and the website. It's hard to read. I will link it again down below for you. This is a craft closet I have had a few years now. It's standing in my living room. I don't have my own craft room, unfortunately, which is why I need to keep my craft supplies limited which is fine for me because otherwise I would get overwhelmed anyway with the stuff I have. So this is what we are dealing with. So in my first episode, we have tackled all of these small boxes that you see here and also half of this shelf. So all of this here is already organized and I think we stopped right there. I'm going to actually do a different box right now because I will need some space in that. So I'm going to tackle my ribbon box, which is right there. And I know some of the decisions I made in the first episode maybe were not logical and they didn't make sense because I wasn't getting rid of some stuff that I even mentioned that I probably wouldn't use. <laughs> But some things are just like a gut feeling and some things you, you just can't let go, even though they might not make sense objectively. <laughs> okay, so this is my ribbon box. You can see it is full and I don't want to add another ribbon box. So I need to make do with this space. I think it should be plenty for just ribbons and twine. So I can already see here some colors that I will probably never use again. because I don't know why. I, you know, I used to love pink especially like this kind of pink, but I just don't anymore since a while. So I'm just going to get rid of it and make space for different things. So I'm going to get rid of this one. As with all other boxes that I have here, I want to feel joy with every single item I have. So if I don't enjoy using it, if I don't enjoy looking at it, I'm not going to use it. I will always choose something over that one thing. So what's the point in cluttering up my craft space with those items? All of these can go, yes, they're cute, but what's the point? See, these can all go, and I have a friend who will be very happy with these. This one will go, but this, for example, I will keep, and the green I will keep. This pink I don't need, and this purple I don't need. I'm so happy that my previous video has actually inspired some of you to tackle your own craft supplies. I know it can be really scary because it's overwhelming. It's a lot, right? So I would say tackle it in small doses. Don't try to do everything at once or in a couple of days. Just tackle a few drawers or a few boxes each day and that way you'll be done in no time. This one here I will never use. Also these, I mean, this is actually a beautiful purple. I don't know about that one. See, that's one of the ones where you might think, oh, that's not logical because you said you don't like these colors. It's hard to explain. I love pink, but only certain shades of it. Like I don't really love the baby, baby pink. I love like this, what we would call in, call in German Altrosa, which is like this old pink. I don't know what, what, what it translates into in English. To be honest and i'm just gonna get rid of this i said i wanted to be more rigorous this time so that's what i'm going to do this one should be on one of these this one here totally doesn't fit where it is like look <laughs> that doesn't make sense so i will put this and this one together and actually i can also add this one to it because they're all bulky so i'll add these three on there so this makes a lot more sense to me now I bought these beautiful purple tassels once, never used them. I've had them for years and I'm going to give them to a friend who I know 
We love these. Okay, that has already freed up quite a bit of space. I love that. Let's put this back here. Actually, I'll add this to this one. And then I'm also going to switch these two over here because I think they just make more sense here. I think it's these little things that make the difference. They make me feel joy when I open this drawer and I look into it, I feel joy because it is organized and because I can find things easily. And that just makes me happy. Rather than being frustrated at seeing the mess, and not even seeing the things I have, you know? I was gifted these two by Susanne. Danke nochmal, Susanne. And I can't see them because I had them stashed hidden in between other ribbons. So I'm going to rewind them on one of these cards because otherwise I will never see them. I used to just put tape over the ends, but that's really not a good idea because the tape, after you take it off once and put it back, it won't stick anymore. And then they will always open and they will always annoy you. So please use pins. It is so much better. This beige one seems like it would be great for dyeing as well. Now I can see them and now I will use them. I spotted another pink one <laughs> and I'm also going to get rid of this one and this baby pink one so I will find a new place for this one. Here and here are some that are just too small to wrap around things so I'll just keep them separately. This one I could actually wrap. So the reason for doing this now is because I have this box, which is again a mishmash of things, but there are ribbons in here. So I need to add these to my ribbon box. Otherwise, again, I won't use them because I don't think of them because they are somewhere else. And I don't know what to do with these either. They don't go here at all. We'll think about that in the next step. So these are all together now. They're all the same type, so that's cool. The issue with these here, and I think that's the reason why I haven't added them here, is because they are 10 meters long, which is really long. So it would actually be too much to wrap them around these unless I split them up. They should fit in here. So I will find a new space for these, hopefully. And these little bits. Yeah, they fit here. So now I just need to put these somewhere else could just stick them in here and add these bits here to my other little bits <laughs> and I'd say that's an improvement so I just tried putting this drawer back into my cupboard but it doesn't work because these are just too high so that doesn't work see I knew there was a reason why they're not in this box so I think what I will do is I will take these and wrap these around these longer ones and then I have space to put them here and that should work with the height. <laughs> Much better, I think. And if you have any that are too long, just cut them in two so that one set isn't so bulky. You're never going to use the strip when it's that long anyway. This one I'm just going to leave. Okay, let's try this again. I have been dreading going through these two boxes. <laughs> they have miscellaneous like decorative items, feathers, flowers stickers it's just a mishmash and i don't like it at all and i somehow need to make these fit as well i think it's easiest to sort through the stickers first i think i can get rid of quite a few of these i hardly ever use stickers and i have these sticker books back here which are great so these are the pepin ones one is the flora so this is the company pepin you can find them on Amazon. The other one is the Natural History. And they have really cool stickers. I used to keep these two books with my books on my bookshelf, but then I never thought of them when I wanted to use stickers. So that wasn't a good solution either. So I am at a loss as to where the right place for these is. I'll put the ones I will keep to the left and the ones I'm getting rid of to the right. These are cute, but they're puffy stickers. I will never use them. 
I would rather gift him to someone that will enjoy them. These are fun. I might still keep these. These are adorable. They're even Edith Holden themed. I don't even remember where I got these from. They're absolutely adorable. Oh, they're even... Okay, I will keep them because they are postage stamp style. I could maybe use them on something. <laughs> These are lace tattoos. You can use them as stickers, why not? Super cute, but not me. I think these were in a Your Creative Studio box. And these can go. Okay, so all of these can go to a new owner. We'll hopefully enjoy them. These here are actually not stickers. They're just to tear off and glue. So I'm going to put these where my sentiments are. And I just said I hardly ever use stickers, so why am I keeping this many? I'm going to get rid of more because this is ridiculous. What am I doing? These I can't. These I can see myself using. They're awesome. Again, your creative studio boxes, which are subscription boxes in case you don't know. And I know these are cute, but if I don't use them, then what's the point? These could be nice collage elements, especially the gold, so I will keep those. These are great for collaging. These I could see myself using like in a planner or something because they're just so fun. These I could use for page decoration. I won't use these, I have to be honest. Or these. I won't use these or these. These are cute for like planner things. These I just think are adorable. I'm gonna keep those. I won't use these because they are super shiny. So I'll add these to the pile to get rid of. These petals I can see myself using as well as these leaves. This I actually bought for jelly plate printing or for coffee dyeing but it doesn't really work well i don't know why it's plastic i will get rid of this these are some pieces that i got from mod they spell i wrote here even what it spells one spells barbara and dragonflies so i definitely want to add these to a project probably a journal cover this is a beautiful box that louisa made for me and i'm keeping all of my whole reinforcements in here that i have cut out so these need to be glued i do use these so i'm keeping those no idea what's in here i'm going to add these to my other bigger box there's no need to have these separate This is some gold, which you can add to a project. I will definitely keep this. Some more stickers. So I really like these. These are also your creative studio. These I won't use. Some vintage hole reinforcements. Keeping those for sure. And here's a bunch of flowers that I want to keep. I want to keep all of these. I just think there might be a better way of storing these. Here are curio knobs, which are awesome and will hopefully one day go on a journal. There's another one. I just love these. And two glass bottles, which I will keep. So maybe I should just get rid of all the packaging here and then see what that looks like. See, this is the kind of pink that I really like. Is that a good idea? Maybe. Oh, I need to get all of these out first. <laughs> it's not pretty, but this kind of just like keeps them all together. So I think that makes sense. I put all these Scrabble letters from Mod in this cute tin now. 
And I think I'm going to take this off and hope that I can fit everything in plus that box with the extra letters. This one here, I hate this container. I have another beautiful box from Louise, hoping they will fit in here. Oh no, there's too many. No, 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 this is not working. I think I'll just use another Ziploc bag. I'm not a fan of these at all. These letters would look really cute in a jar, but then I don't have room to put, put the jar. I didn't like how these were floating around, so I just put them together with paper clips. It's still definitely not ideal, but at least I found space for these and it is a bit more organized. So this is the second one. The first part here is all feathers, which I am keeping all of them. And this stuff is just miscellaneous stuff. This I know I want to keep because I do use that. The funny thing is I had decluttered this already once and then I took it out of my <laughs> bag to take to Goodwill. And since then I've actually been using these, so that was good. But I can definitely make this smaller. These I'm definitely keeping. This I'm keeping. Don't need this here in the back. It's cute, I can imagine this on a journal cover. Definitely keeping these beautiful golden butterflies. As cute as they are, I will not use these. These I've had a long time. They're gorgeous. I can use these in a journal. Don't need. Cute, but don't need. These I love. I got these in the States. I am keeping these. These I got at a craft fair. Don't think I've used them once. As you can see here, I tried coloring some of them with gilding wax, which worked. So I could still see myself using these. Yes, definitely keeping these. Keeping, uh, nope, not keeping these. And not keeping these. Not keeping these. Or these. Or these. These are so cute. Again, these were from the States. I'm keeping these. They bring me joy. What should I say? These are cute. These are cute. These are great. I should add these to my other flowers. Don't need these. This I will keep. I actually have a whole small drawer with these metal parts, so I will add those there. These I will keep. These are cute for journal charms. Big book plate, yes. Small book plates, yes. More book plates. More cute tiny glass jars. Tiny clothespins. I've had these forever and I never use them. I'm going to get rid of these. These I like and will use. More book plates and book corners. These I thought I could use as a journal closer somehow. So I will keep that. Wooden little birdies I will keep. These I wanted to use to put something inside, obviously. I'll keep them. And this is... <laughs> these are things I can use in journals. Keeping those. And all of these little pieces are Tim Holtz ephemera that I have somewhere else and I can add to that. So I've added these to the other flowers. They can go in the other box. These actually go to the stickers, so I will add that to that same box. These glass bottles I've consolidated into this bag. I've consolidated all my metal plates into this one. And these two that I had in the other box will actually go in here because I want to keep all the glass bottles together. And I just decided I'm going to keep these with my paper clips. I think that makes more sense. As well as these, there's no need to have them in this box. Maybe I can use this box to add some of these like smaller bits. I can take these out of the packaging as well. Yep, I like that. This one has a lot more space now and I can see things better. 
and I know I will use the things I have in here. So that's progress. That means this drawer actually has space now. So this is where I keep my matte medium, gel mediums, gessos, transparent uh, sealer. Again, a sealer. And I also have this box which has similar items. Maybe I can organize this better. This one has dried out completely. <laughs> it's an old gesso. I can get rid of that. Art podge. This is actually, I think, a good one because I don't think this one shines. Crackle medium. I forgot about this one. This should probably go in here. There's more art podge. Craft seal. That should go in here. Structure paste. I remember not liking this one at all because it is super... Well, actually, it has hardened completely. <laughs> yeah, I never liked this one. It was too coarse for my liking. So that will go. This is homemade texture paste, which hopefully still is okay. Oh, it's fairly hard. I've had this quite a while now. Modeling paste. This I know is still good. That was an expensive one. Transparent gesso and heavy gel medium, which I was so disappointed because I didn't see that it's glossy. I think it, yeah, it says gloss and I didn't see it. I hate it, but I could always use it to stick things down. So I don't want to get rid of it. It was very expensive as well. There's a matte Mod Podge, which is empty. <laughs> and there's a, like a rust finish thing that I will definitely keep. Okay, so that's those two boxes. This is, as you can see, the box where I store two glue guns, a big one and a small one, and my, I was gonna say hair dryer, <laughs> my heat gun, and the glue sticks are on the bottom. Nothing I can really do here. This horrible looking cardboard thing is very practical to keep the heat gun in when it's plugged in and it's hot and glue is coming out. So I'm just keeping that in there. So great, nothing to do for that. I have these three boxes of acrylic paints. So I guess the only thing to do here is to go through them and yeah, I guess I could get rid of things like this here. This horrible pink. It's not even that old. I got that, I think, last year. And this one, oh my goodness, I would never use that again. And I can see which ones have hardened. I can get rid of those. And um, yeah, I don't think there's much more I can do here. I'm cutting some of these unnecessary tops off so that I can stand them and they will still fit into my, into my little cupboard. I kept all of these cards like for scraping and stuff for spreading medium, but ugh, this is crazy. I don't need these at all actually, because I've recently got myself this, which I really enjoy using. So I'm gonna get rid of all of those cards. And these here are palettes. Well, they're makeshift palettes. <laughs> I cut these off of old calendars that we used to use in school and that we threw away. But of course, I didn't want to throw these away. I cut these off and they're great as palettes. So these are the ones I'm getting rid of because they have either dried out or they are colors I would never use. So these are a bit more organized and they are ready to go back. The two last boxes that I have down there are my embroidery threads. These are already super organized, so nothing I need to do there. Yay! <laughs> I just realized now I actually have space to put these three beautiful gold paints that were just floating around on my desk. This is so good. <laughs> so that means I've got the whole left part of my craft closet reorganized. It is such a great feeling. Love it! So moving right along, I'm going to start with this section here. I'm going to start with the most bottom drawer right there. I think the hardest part is finding the motivation to start. I think once you're in it, then actually it's not so bad. Then you have a momentum and, and you just keep that going. As you can see, I have some beautiful sari silk ribbon here which I need to put on these cards because there's no reason for them to take up half a drawer. <laughs> so I will start with that. And I have some watercolor cutoffs here that I think are perfect. They're actually the pretty much the perfect size for this drawer. Let's see if the height works. Oh no, <laughs> they are way too high. 
Well, the question is, will I lay them down? I could just lay them down, right? Yeah, because I do want this width because I have a lot to put on. And for these, I'm just tucking in the ends, which I will probably never find again. <laughs> I don't know how else to do it. The pins don't seem very efficient for this one. Red is getting its own card because I have so much of it that I think I'm going to fill the whole card. And I would also just like to mention that I realize I am super privileged to have access to so many beautiful materials. And I know many of you cannot access a lot of these materials or you don't have the budget for it. And I get all that. So I am really sometimes hesitant to show what I have because it's just weird when I know not everybody is able to have all this stuff, even though they would love to. I did accumulate these things over quite a few years. I started off just having a few boxes of stuff, like I think most of us junk journalers do. But since this has become my job as well, I guess I feel a bit, a bit less guilty about having these things. And decluttering like this is also a good exercise to understand better what your taste is, how it has changed, and things you hopefully won't buy again in the future because you've already tried them and you know that it's not for you. It also helps me knowing that I am able to inspire some of you who are just starting out or who get stuck in a rut and don't know what to create. I do think that some of my <laughs> videos at least have some value and I think it's cool that you can access them for free. You just have to endure a little bit of advertisement for it, but it's free. So I think that's awesome. And then of course you also have to consider the approximate two years that I spent making videos before I was able to be monetized. So I didn't get anything from making my videos and yet I spent so much time posting and sharing my passion. So I feel like I've kind of earned this. <laughs> I mean, earned it, you know, I bought it myself, obviously, with my own money, but it's like, I don't feel as bad when I think about these things. I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> Good luck to me finding the end on that one. <laughs> if you know a better way to find the ends of these, please comment below. I would be very grateful for that. This here I loved but I don't think it goes in here. I think this should go to where the other bling is in that other box. I never know what to do with these scraps. This red organza is something I won't use. So that's going to be donated. More scraps. These I'm keeping. This is really cool to have in white. It's like this eyelash yarn. This one I've dyed with coffee and it, it's just so beautiful. Of course, I forget that I have it. So both of these I could dye. I mean, this one I just love as it is. This one is too white for me. These I love. See, this is again the pink I love and it's fluffy. So yeah, definitely keeping those. This again is one I don't use. So this color I will donate. There's a scrap. These I will give away. This is a fun multicolored one. I actually really like this one. This one is super cute, but it's very thick. I can't imagine that I can ever fit that somewhere. It is so bulky. So I think, even though it's so fluffy, no, I'm gonna be rigorous and I'm going to donate this. These I got from AliExpress years ago. I think I wanted to add these to fabric journal covers. They're super sweet and I will actually keep these because I could still add these to journal covers one day. <laughs> So what do we do with these scraps? It would be nice to have like a little box in here for the scraps, right? Okay, I actually could not find a box, but when I do, then I will put it in here. And then we can put these in here. I even have space in case I ever buy more. And that's it. So if need be, I can add something else to this box. I found this. <laughs> I crocheted this a few years ago. I actually think it's really cute, even though I'm over the colors, but this is so soft and cute. I love the design and I thought I could fit this in here, but I think it's kind of big. Although it's super cute, I could then add these in here maybe without the bag. The less bags, the better. I could even add this one here. Yeah, why not? That's cute. <laughs> Next, I want to tackle this box. This is kind of a weird one as well. 
<laughs> it has a mishmash of a lot of different things. So these are obviously all doilies, which I am going to keep. Then I have these. These have been gifted to me by Ray. How cute are these? I'm keeping these because I'm often looking for little post-it notes to write something on. So I will be using these. Super cute. This one as well. So that only has the top one. So I'm going to cut this off. Super cute post-it notes. These, on the other hand, are too small to use. Yes, of course, I could use them in journals, but I know I won't. I'm going to donate these. Actually, these go on the left and what I'm getting rid of is going on the right. Oh, these were from Your Creative Studio. Love these. Beautiful Asian tickets. Definitely keeping. These are super cute. These are from the US. Keeping. I can put these in journals, which is why I kept them. Not my color. I will donate this. Lots more doilies. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is also from your creative studio. It's just these little pages. I wouldn't know what to use them for, to be honest. I prefer ragged edged shapes. So I'm going to donate this. These, I don't need the pink. Most of these here now are from your creative studio. Love these. These, I think, are meant, yeah, they're meant to be old paper, but they look like toast to me. <laughs> but they're cute post-its. Yeah, these are good. These were from another subscription box. I forgot the name. It was a very fancy and expensive one. These I bought in the States. Super cute post-it pants. Uh, post-it pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these were, again, from this expensive subscription box. These I don't need. They're from your creative studio. Don't know what to do with them. These are great. Keeping those. These are fun. I bought these myself, I believe. These are very usable as well because of the color. These are fun. These are these were also your creative studio. You can just pull this out and pull off a post-it. Super cute packaging. Another one of these books. Same thing, but a different kind of paper. I mean, it's really nice paper, but I know I won't use it. I've had this for years. These I bought at Goodwill. These here. You put these on candles so that uh, they won't drip. Bought them, I don't know, two years ago, maybe. Never used them. I'll give them back to Goodwill. <laughs> these are super cute. I'm actually going to keep these. Not as post-it notes, but, you know, if I cut off the edge, I think they are a beautiful element for collage. Here's some Rolodex cards. You can definitely use those. And here's some fun like dividers, which I also love. So these are staying as well. These I got at my Goodwill and I will definitely keep because I can always use these to make like clusters on, for example. These have all come off. I've used most of these like, like as page tabs. This is wallpaper, beautiful. I will add that to my wallpaper, should not be in here. These here I know are all your creative studio and I think I love all of these. Look how cute these are. I love them, but I always forget about them. When I collage or something, I never think about these. This might've been from a Simon Says subscription box or something. I'm going to donate this one. This is again your creative studio. Super cute. This one as well. Same with this one. This one I bought, I think, at a US Daiso store. I'm keeping this for sure. This is also your creative studio. I will give these to my friend who loves purple. These are like one of my favorite ones. So cute. Look how cute. This is a Japanese one. It's 
cute, but it's weird. You're supposed to roll these up. You see, you have this thing here, and it has a slot here. It's supposed to roll them up. I'm not going to use these. These are super cute. These I can coffee dye, and they will be very cute. I had the Your Creative Studio boxes, I think, for over two years, which is why I have so many of these. They came in pretty much every box, and I love them, but they were too much to use usually. And now I forgot about them, but I need to use them because they're so gorgeous. These are score sheets that I found at Goodwill, and I had in mind to coffee dye these and put them in journals. This one, I think, as well. They're for writing addresses for packages. So this is what I'm getting rid of. I don't know if that counts as being rigorous. <laughs> I'm going to store the post-it notes somewhere else because I will use them as post-it notes and not put them in my journal. Oh, these as well. Same with these and this. This could also be a cute collage element, so I will leave that one there. So this one looks more organized and has more space, so that makes me happy as well. That's all I have energy for today. <laughs> These are all the things I have decluttered. It's not a huge pile, but it's not so bad. It will definitely help in the big picture of things. <laughs> Just start with one drawer, one box, and see where that takes you. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah.